welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and today we are here with a video that sort of kind of like turned into an annual thing and that is what's in my pencil case. So I'm going to show you what's in this big bad boy and if you want to tell me down in the comments below what's your favourite thing that's in your pencil case then please do tell, write, comment, tell me, I would love to know. And let's get going shall we? Okay. So here it is. I can't tell you where I got it. I got it from. I have had it for quite some time now and I don't know exactly where I got it but this is it. It's a bit gross to be honest. I'm kind of looking for something a little bit different and also I have my bullet journal supplies in here too and I kind of want to revamp it. I'll quickly go over the pins that I have on the front. I have one from Alfie Days here on YouTube. Uh, I don't particularly think that he has had the best track record for being a good person but at the same time I have enjoyed his stuff in the past and I literally grew up watching his videos on YouTube so then I have one from Scrollerbox 50th anniversary box which is awesome and I also have over here a drawing with waffles badge thing and then these three pins here are from Myra Baylor here on YouTube also and you should go and check her pins out they are gorgeous and they are amazing and I love her as a person she's one of my friends and obviously John with the Waffles is on YouTube too so you should definitely go and check her out also and yeah so in this pouch I actually have a pencil case that I got from WH Smith I think and a bunch of other items in here as well so we'll go through the items in this case first yes the first thing that I'm gonna grab is my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors these are my favorite watercolors as of now because they're easiest to get and they're pretty okay for the price this one's actually not Windsor & Newton, that one's Dale Rooney and it's really bad. But the rest of them are Windsor & Newton and they are all professional quality paints. This was a palette that I got that had Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolours in it, which is their student grade watercolours. And it actually had pans in here but I took the pans out and just used the wells to fill up my watercolours with. The next thing I have is a bunch of kind of neutral colours. Uh, this was the kind of palette that I was trying to make myself love. These are all sort of Prisma colours and uh, they're also got some Caran d'Ache uh, Pablo pencils in here as well because these are my cheaper branded watercolours, uh, sorry, pencils that I like to use. And I've also got some Spectrum Noir colour blend in there as well. And I just use these to add a little bit of colour to my bullet journals or my sketchbooks if I please. I really need to go through this and sort it out. The next thing I have in here is a selfie stick and I have no idea why it's here. I've got another one underneath my desk and I think I'm going to put it there because that's where it should be. It should not be in here. And I didn't clean out this pencil case before I did this video so it's just got whatever it's got in it. Couple of things left in here. I have two washi tapes, which I don't know why. Um, I just obviously picked them up from my desk and shoved them in there as a sort of way to tidy them. I usually use these to package my orders from my shop. By the way, the link is in the description if you want to check that out. But I'm also going to take that out of my pencil case. This is sort of like clean my pencil case with me video. So the other things that I have in here is a ruler, which I really need to buy a new ruler. My other ruler, I cut it with my X-Acto knife by accident so it doesn't draw a straight line anyway. It's really good for measuring though. And I like the style of the ruler that I had. And this one is getting a little bit dirty or like, I don't know, it's got some gunk on it. I think it's glue to be honest. And uh, yeah, so I need to buy a little ruler like this and a bigger one. Um, because it's something that you just don't think that you need until you need it. And then the other thing that I have here is 
a spray bottle with water in it, which I actually need to clean out because I think the water's been in there for a while and it gets stinking if you leave it in there for a while. The last thing in this is a uni pin fine liner and this should be in my main pencil case but it's not because I was using it and I just couldn't be bothered putting it back but these are my favourite fine liners they are so good you should go and get one if you do not have one and try it out although I am I have completely run out of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 um, I just have my 0 0.5 left which is a bit of a shame this one has quite a thick nib compared to the other ones. So I'm gonna set that aside so that we can put it back in this case. Now, in 2019, at the end of 2019, I went through my pencil case and I took out everything that I don't use. And I still don't use half this stuff in here, but I put it in there just in case and I need to stop doing that and as well as the fact that I obviously do bullet journaling so I don't want to carry two pencil cases with me or have two pencil cases near my desk so I tend to put everything in here but my idea was that if I put my pencil case in here have my pencil, rubber and anything that I use to sketch in my sketchbooks in this little pouch here and then have everything that I use in my bullet journal here because I use more stuff in my bullet journal than I do in my sketches and, and stuff, then I would be a little bit more happier. So we're gonna sort that out today. <laughs> there's a look at it from that angle where there's loads of stuff in it. So I actually just recently put this back in my pencil case. It's the Uniball Signal gel pen and I really like this gel pen. It's easy to use and convenient but the whiteness on it isn't the best but at least it doesn't spurt out white ink at you. It is one of the best ones that there is. It's better than the Jelly Roll in my opinion so the Uniball Signal is there. Then we have these two. Uh, the 0 0.2 is actually not run out. I lied to you earlier um, it's in fact the nib has splayed a little bit but I've had these for years and years and years and they haven't really done that yet but it's wider now and I don't like that because this is more like a 0 0.6 a 0 0.5 than it is a 0 0.2 and I have a spare 0 0.3 here which still works as well which I'm happy about they are running out and I will need new ones soon but I've had these for years like I said and they haven't run out on me yet. <sighs> I decided to take everything out of the pencil case so that it was easier to grab <laughs> and they're creeping into this frame here so sorry if that bugs you, it bugs me too. Um, I would rather have this completely clear but whatever. So these are my Winsor Newton Pro Markers and I have them in the pastel shades. I got the pack. I'm pretty sure there's six of these and every time I show you these things I always can't find the one that is missing when I show you them but after I've showed you them I end up finding it. We have the Pro Marker Buttercup, the Pro Marker Lavender, Pale Rose, Cool Aqua, sorry about my shaky hands by the way, that happens to me. And we also have the Meadow Green and I'm pretty sure I've got a peach somewhere as well. But these are really great, I love them. They're not as juicy as normal markers but I prefer that. You get a bullet tip and a chisel nib on the other end and I love them. And I've put these in my pencil case because I really want to start <laughs> using them more. So I'm going to be getting out my marker sketchbook to start using them more. Although I know that I don't have that many colours and it'll probably annoy me. So whatever. I'm going to start putting these back where I want them to be now. Um, so I'm going to show you these because they kind of relate to the other thing that I showed you. These are the Unipin fine liners and this one is a brush. This one's a 0 0.1 and so is this one. But this one's light grey, I believe. Is it? Dark grey. Okay, this one's dark grey and this one's sepia. Yep. 
and this actually comes out really light and it's the one thing I don't like about it I wanted a grey pen but I wanted it to be darker than this and I got the dark one because it said dark um, but every time I use it I feel like it's too light and there is a lighter version than this so god knows what that one's going to be like but just thought I would get myself one of those I haven't used this too much but I do want to use it this year a little bit more and then I also have the uh, sepia one which again does seem a little bit light to me uh, so maybe it's because it's a 0 0.1 but I might get another size and see if that helps but if not then I'm just going to use these in my bullet journal and then this is the brush which again I barely use but I want to keep it in here because sometimes I do use it occasionally and that is what the brush nib looks like Sort of like a felt thing. Now I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I use to sketch with and use in my sketchbooks. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my two normal pencils that I have. This one is a two and a half equals HB Faber-Castell pencil and I got this in the scroller box that I got the other month there. I'll leave the link in the description to that if you want to go and check that out and in the iCards but uh, I really like it. It's a really good pencil. And then for darker lines if I ever want to do that I have the 4B pencil but I do need to buy new I do need to buy new normal pencils because my other half is a joiner and he takes my pencils to work and sometimes he'll take my artistic graphic pencils with him so he'll take a 2B, a 3B, a 4B so I've lost the whole set this is the only one left out of the whole set and I had 10 of them so that's annoying but <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy him like a pack of really rubbish pencils and then keep my pencils to myself but that's those pencils. The next thing that I'm gonna show you is these and I rave about these all the time so you're gonna already know what they are if you have been on my channel for a while but these are the Graph Gear 1000 Pentel pencils, mechanical pencils and they are the 0.9 and 0.7 and I love them, they're awesome to write, to draw with. You can put any lead you want in them. I usually put the uh, Eno to be pilot led but recently uh, I decided to get these Omni grips from Amazon to try and the reason I got these was actually for my Apple Pencil because I felt like my Apple Pencil was really slidey and annoying to use and really thin so I got it for my pencil, my Apple Pencil and I loved them that much and since I had more of them I decided to put them on my uh, mechanical pencils as well. I would probably leave these on mechanical pencils or pens. I probably would not put them on graphite pencils that need to be sharpened a lot because they are really hard to take off and I really want to take um, this one off because it's actually thicker at the, bo uh, the top than it is at the bottom and when I'm holding it I prefer to hold the uh, thicker part at the bottom so I'm going to take this off but if you can just see it's it's not going to budge I need to do it with my teeth which isn't very glamorous um, and then I usually put in my 0.91 these Pilot Eno leads these are really good and I highly recommend them I don't have any fills for the 7 just now and I need to buy them so I think I will be buying the Pilot Eno and I'm pretty sure these do other colours as well so I'm going to be getting other colours because I used to use a blue and a red one in my 0 0.7 but then I switched to graphite because I was enjoying that a lot more but I want to go back to coloured pencil leads too. And another thing that I have in my pencil case is this Faber-Castell kneaded eraser and I love it. If you've been following me for a while again, you'll know that I had a really horrible time with these things before. I couldn't get them to work for me and it was just really hard to use. Uh, but I've recently discovered that the reason they were really hard to use was because I was using one that was really cheap and not very easy to knead. But this one's easy to knead and I like it, so got that. I also have just a normal, very dirty, eraser which is 
great actually I love this thing I think it's the dust free ones and they this one really is dust free and it takes the when it's clean it takes the graphite off really easily and I love it well it's not dust free but it it sort of clumps up all of the eraser dust in one so like that also this <laughs> This Derwent paint pen, I talked about it in my favourites video and I still love it so we're going to move on but basically it's a 0 0.5 white paint pen and I do like it but I kind of regret putting it in my favourites video because it's not as good as I initially thought. After using it a couple more times it kind of sucks but it is opaque, it's just that the nib uh, gets clogged easily and it spurts out random white ink sometimes and I don't like that or paint whatever. Okay on to the various pens that I've been using for my bullet journal. I got this one in scroller box again and it's an at you spica pencil. It's twinkling like the stars 02 pink and it's really good for putting little sparkly bits in my bullet journal and to be honest I wish I had more of them. Uh, I love Add in a little bit of sparkle in this in my bullet journals with this pen. The next one is just a normal ballpoint clicky pen and I really enjoy them. They're just a normal ball ballpoint pen that I use to write with and sometimes sketch with. <laughs> I've totally failed at this video because I wanted to categorize it into things that I use to sketch and things that I use to do my bullet journaling in but I use these to sketch more than anything. These are really good for sketching. I like them. They are the round stick medium Bic pens and they're just good if you just don't want to erase and you want to just experiment with pen and have a little bit of a different look and feel in your sketchbook. Now for pens that I do actually use in my bullet journal and I'm just going to show you them really quickly. Uh, this is also a Bic pen and it's the Bic Fine. I love this pen and it's red and I want more of these. I want to get them in all the colours they are available to me and they are so cheap and nasty looking. <laughs> they look like the pens that you use in the bookies but I love them and they're great and I think that everybody should own a Bic Fine pen. The next pen is a Uniball Air and I'm so so happy that I can use this one. This is a pen that I really enjoyed. I loved the ink flow, I loved the way it wrote, I love the nib of it. It's so unique and different and I love it but unfortunately because the ink is so pigmented and wet it does go and show through and ghost and bleed through on quite a lot of notebook papers but the new notebook that I got from Dingbats doesn't do this. It does still have ghosting but it's mi minimal so I'm really happy with that and I love this and I will never let go ever. The next one is a Uniball Eye Fine Pen. I love these to write with as well. These are so good and they're great and I honestly would want to do line art with these. They are that great. I love them. Next pen again, the same with the Uniball Air. Now this pen I wouldn't recommend getting because of the way that it just leaks out ink sometimes and that's why I've hardly got any left. I haven't used this much but anytime I have there's been like a blob of ink coming out and it takes a long time to dry but the pure like oh oh it's happening now. I don't know if you can see but there's a big blob on the end of it. That's not the way that that should be. I don't have, I'm an artist and I don't have any paper to hand. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the blob on there. Let's just show you on here look. See that? Can you see that? <laughs> it's a big blob of ink and it now it writes amazingly and thin and it's great but this blob of ink is just it's going to take ages to dry and if you obviously want to close your book um, then you, you can but it will it will do that and yeah it's not it's not great to be honest. I think I use it to fill in black a lot. The last two things in my pencil case I have is this X-Acto knife which has seen its better days. I really need to get replacement blades for it um, and clean it as well because it's gross but 
always handy to have one of these for all of your exact wing needs and it's awesome. And then we have the last thing which is my sharpener and this is the sharpener by Kum. It's spelled K-U-M and pronounced Kum and it's made in Germany and these are great. You stick your pencil in here, the bigger hole to shave the wood and then you stick the pencil in here to shave the actual lead of the pencil and it really creates a sharp point and then even in here you have two little holes that you can sharpen your mechanical pencils in and you eventually get a really thin sharp edge on it it's really hard to use though so but anyway this pencil sharpener is really good if I do change anything in my pencil case, I will be sure to tell you next year and why I changed it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please remember to uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will put some playlists here for you to check out if you want to go and binge watch any of my videos while you procrastinate or work at what you're doing. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!